Keys over with Wills, man. We back at it again with another one. Finally, been about damn near two weeks. Um, we got a Corvette. We got the Corvette parts in here. Uh, we getting ready to go ahead and seal it. If you don't know what sealer is, uh, sealer is just is a little bit less aggressive than primer. Um, sealer can cover up imperfections, scratches, little simple stuff like that. Um, my 320 everything, parts, car as well. And then we're gonna slap some sealer over that 320 and then we'll slap paint on top of that three uh, the sealer. So right now I got my um, DV1 Develops base coat gun. Um, I'll probably rock it at about 18 PSI, sometimes probably a little less than that. Um, kind of got the option on the, uh, as far as clear coat. Don't know if I'm gonna use my DV1 Develvis clear coat gun as well. They both work great. I, I'm not changing my, uh, my, my base coat gun. I, lo I love the way this sprays, but I really, really love the way the WS400 Iwata sprays. I ain't gonna lie, that, that's a monster, that's a monster. Um, and I might just go ahead and use that. But uh, like I said, man, we got the Corvette parts in here. We're gonna get ready to seal it, then we'll paint it. If you are interested as well in painting your car this way, we got um, the front bumper, we got the top, uh, cause it's a convertible. Um, then we got the two doors, we got the inserts of the headlights, uh, we got the hood, and then uh, the little rail piece that goes in between the hatch and the, this little, hood or well, the drop top cover, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyways, um, we'll jam it. We'll hit the jams first. We'll hit the bottom of everything first. Then we'll let it dry. Then we'll flip it over on the side that really doesn't matter, which is this side. So that paint is going to be sitting on these rails, which is okay because it's the jams and nine times out of 10, what it's sitting on is not going to matter. Um, meaning it's going to be covered up by the door panel. So same thing with everything else. We'll flip it over and that's the side that counts. That's the side you want to make sure your magic is on. So um, yeah, man, let's go ahead and seal it and then we'll paint it. Got to get my respirator and my paint suit on. Alright man, so we got the sealer laid down, laid down pretty good. Um, never really had issues with sealer. Uh, like I said, I 320 to everything, sealed it just now, and then we'll apply our paint right on top. We're gonna let it sit about 15, 20 minutes. Let it do its thing, let it cure. Um, man, these headlights right here took me took me two and a half hours to get one out, and then 30 minutes to get the other one out. Uh, it had like 30 screws. But they were, they were like I don't even know a heat, adhesive tape or something. I don't even know. It was like some stuff I had to pull apart. I literally had to put the uh, uh, headlight in the oven, bake it, and then pull it apart. But it wasn't, it wasn't that easy pulling apart. Um, so yeah, but we got it out. I'm gonna let these parts cure, and then we're gonna come in here with the paint, tag, tag it up. Let's get it. How to vet? How to vet? Looking right now. Covered up. All the parts is in here. This will be next, we'll jam this, and then we'll put the car back together, and then spray the whole thing. All right, man, we got the two coats on here. Two coats came out great.
It's 125 degrees in here. Keeping an eye on it. my safety. I know the wires and whatnot, but it's not to a melting point. Nah. But we got the parts in here baking. What we'll do is once they're, once it's pretty much cured, I'm about to go ahead and cut this heat, cut the heat off and let it cure, uh, cool down. Cut, I'm gonna cut that off. And what we'll do is put the car together. We're gonna put the car together. Um, and, and pretty much back mask everything off, back mask, and we'll cover up the jams. We'll Mario Edge. Um, it's almost like that foam stuff you can put around. It's the same concept as that. It'll work. I've done it before. But um, yeah, we'll put everything together, mask it to where the insides do not get hit, any overspray on it, and then we'll paint the whole car. Um, uh, except for the hatch and except for the top. All right, y'all, man, it's time to seal. Um, I'm fighting on fighting myself on whether or not I'm going to go ahead and just seal just the jams or just seal the whole thing. Um, because I do have to put the doors on. The back, the front sides of the doors are not painted, so um, I'm just going to paint the whole car and then uh, go from there. Now, like I said, should I go ahead and seal the whole thing, jams and the fenders, or should I just... Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. I think I'm just going to seal the whole jam and then seal the whole car at the same time as well as the door. So, yeah, we'll just do the jam. Let's get it. Pressure looking at about uh, 17 PSI. I got my fluid all the way open. Let's get it. So we got the car together finally. Uh, disregard the roof and the hatch. I completely forgot I had to add flake to it. So uh, that's why I cleared it earlier. Um, but hey, you live and you learn. Um, I went ahead and grabbed this tape over here. Uh, man, it comes in handy. It prevents that overspray from getting in those door jams. And definitely, definitely works. Definitely pays off. So uh, for the most part, we're ready to go. I know I kind of showed you guys earlier of the jams with the rainbow flake. I promise you, I swear to you, it does no justice on camera. Like, even even in the sun, it, um, the customer was like, can you send a sneak peek? And I was like, man, I don't even want to do that because it do no justice. Like, it shows nothing on camera. It just looks like a bunch of little dots. But in person, it looks like some real VVS diamonds on her car. But, man, let's go ahead and jump into it, man. We got to go ahead and start painting. Let's get it.
But this is what we're gonna add to the uh, the car. Which one? Which one are we going? Uh, which one are we going with? <sighs> right here. Let's check it out in the sun, man. Um, watch how big of a difference this is in the sun and out of the sun. Moment of truth. Let's go check it out.